What's up, everybody? My name is Ty. I just bought something. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I happened to find something that caught my eye. It was, uh, it's definitely uh, a piece of work. Um, it is a car that is going to challenge me in every way possible, whether that's body work, um, anything mechanical, especially electrical, oh man. Um, but essentially, I bought what you would call an FB RX. So I'm probably going to start with plans for the build. Um, the first thing I'm probably going to just start on is the bodywork. Uh, it's going to need tremendous amounts of bodywork as you can see there's terrible lifting here. Like, yeah, you can literally fit your finger in there. It's got not a lot. The dash is barely there. It's cracked. That's going to need to be reskinned. The interior is a disaster. It's sitting in a field. The roof is going to get replaced. This ugly roof scoop, that's going to go. These DC2 looking headlights, I, 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 I don't even know. I, like, the guy wanted an Integra, buy an Integra. No, no hate, but these are going to go. The roof's going to go. Obviously fix all the body work. Then I'm going to start on the mechanical. I am going to, not sure on what engine I want or if what layer, you know, like if I want to do, just throw something in there, get it inspected, get it on the road, and then, you know, do a crazy, you know, turbo two swap later with a huge single. I'm not sure on that, but first is body work, then it's mechanical. Then after mechanical is done, the basic mechanical, I'm going to be working on this interior. This is a very, as you can see, rough interior. The steering wheel is held on with hand tight bolts in the hub. Uh, no passenger seat. What dash? I don't know. So I am going to pretty much gut the whole interior when I go to basically wire and plumb up the car. Gut the whole interior. Um, I will probably end up finding a, another, well, there's tons of FB parts and FC parts around here. I'll kind of have a mix and match of both, find what I like and go for kind of like an OEM plus style interior. I'll get it to OEM spec and then maybe do a few things of my own. But that's pretty much it for the interior. I don't think once I once I get that to like, like oh yeah, it's nice, it's not janky. That's never gonna change pretty much. I just wanna get that to like, it's kinda like it. But other than that, it's it's mostly gonna be body work for now. Um, this build is gonna teach me a lot about everything. It's gonna teach me uh, how to work with fiberglass, how to like come from nothing to a running, driving, fully functioning car with lights, signals. Um, everything i'm gonna learn basically how to build a vehicle from scratch and that is something i've always wanted to do it is yes it's very rough yes i probably shouldn't have bought it but you know what i'm here now i'm gonna have a good time with this in six months but some body work and a lot of time and money later Coming back to the FB, we haven't really done much to it besides from when we pulled it in. Uh, we just took the wing off because it uh, <laughs> needed some love. Um, and took everything out of the interior besides the carpet and vacuum it. All those wires are gone. I pulled the door card off. Just little things to make it easier to start working on it so I can start actually inspecting the interior, so to say. Um, Right now, I'm just about to start on the actual sanding of the paint to get down to the gel coat on the fiberglass. Um, so that once I get down to that, I can start filling all these cracks in and repairing all of this. Other than that and the excessive 
planning, I guess, that's going into it per se. There's nothing really left to do but to grab that sander right there and start sanding away. Well, that's great, but we gotta look at where I got the car from. Originally, I was looking for an RX-8. Either they were in BC, which is 300 plus kilometers away, or they were asking way too much for a car that really wasn't worth it. At one point, I think I came across someone trying to f sell an RX-8 with a blown engine, no windows, and vandalized paint for around five grand. Anyways, one day, I'm scrolling through Marketplace on my phone, and this car pops up. It's about 130 k's away, but I decided to go look. My buddy Kyron takes along with me. Eventually, with some bargaining and persuasion, I decide that I think I can save it. So I come back the next day with my trailer, and again, Kyron helps me load it. Apparently, I beat one guy there who was interested about 10 times than what I was. Anyways, I ended up talking to the guy after I got the car. His name is Austin, and he's a pretty chill and cool guy. I explained to him how the car was in a lot of rougher shape than the photos initially showed, and he seemed a little bit disappointed at that. One thing, however, that Austin, Kyron, and pretty much anybody shows when I talk about the car is outstanding positivity and interest, and I think that's really cool because I get to show something that a lot of people have an interest in and kind of entertain people. Anyways. The next episode, I'm going to go over the drivetrain and pretty much engine options I had and what I chose. And I just wanted to thank you again for everybody's positivity and support. If you have any comments or suggestions, uh, let me know down below. And if you'd like anybody else to see it, give it a share. Thanks as always for tuning in.